Hi ladies, uh, this is my third attempt on making a video. I just wanted to show you, uh, yesterday I showed you some of my project of how far I was and I wanted to show you the kite that I finished now. Uh, it's going off on uh, in a um, swap, so, uh, so I just wanted to show you. Uh, if we start here, uh, the flower is from Diana Bacchus uh, and um, the appliques are from Karen and uh, the lace back here is from the second hand shop that I uh, volunteer in now. Um, this teeny tiny trim is from eBay and the Bling trim is also from uh, chain is also from eBay. Uh, it's two millimeters, uh, and it was actually too thin for the project that I bought it for, so it worked out perfect for this one. Um, then I had some leftover of the trim and made a set and used one of uh, my bling I have bought on eBay also, eBay or, or Wish or. I'm not sure. Uh, it's some time ago, yeah. And of course the napkin uh, that I cut up and, and used. Um, here you can see uh, that I cut the napkin in the corner and uh, I took the other part, Let's take one corner and the other part, I uh, cut it in the middle and gathered it so it has the shape of a kite. I did the um, um, barbecue pins, stick, uh, barbecue sticks, uh, cut them and uh, tied some um, piece of uh, uh, thread. Yeah. On the back here I have the hanger uh, and the bow, I did the same as on my uh, grandmother's diary uh, series. I took some of these flowers and I put some bling here and pearl. And because there was a um, hole where I could either sew or stick something in, I put some dangle. Uh, and then I just used the leftover uh, lace from the tail of the kite. Why I haven't decorated the bag is because the one that is going to receive it, I wanted to show her how I uh, made it. So, uh, because everything looks different in real life than it does on video. And that's it. That's why. I'm a little bit in a hurry and I'm sorry if I'm just not uh, really here, you know. I used three different laces and they are all from Doreen from the tail. And I'm pretty sure this one is either original this color or um, she has tea dyed it. But it doesn't seem like it. I think it's original. And this one is definitely either tea dyed or avocado dyed. And this one is a white, white lace. And uh, I thought it match okay uh, to the rest of the pr project because this one is a bit lighter. And then uh, I took uh, the beautiful bow I received from uh, Karen and I I use them to make these beautiful small bows with some bling in the middle. Here you can see it. Yeah. And then I took some of the uh, bling trim, uh, bling chain, and I just put a couple of them. And this one is from a necklace. It's just like pearls on a string, but it's a uh, it is a um, oh, a chain, yeah. So 
uh, and that's that's my kite. Uh, the tail is very light. It's not a big uh, tussy uh, tassel, but uh, it is kind of simple and pretty. I think all of it in the kite here. I really want to show a little bit more here. Yes. So that's my lacy lace. Uh, um, Shabby chic lace kite, yeah, that is okay. Then I just wanted to say in the end here, thank you to um, Avil, uh, who is uh, uh, Pepsi's ribbon and laces uh, here on YouTube. She has worked with uh, napkins uh, the last week, and thank you because uh, then I didn't forget my napkins and I didn't know what to use them for. And a big thank you to uh, uh, Karen. She saw my video last night uh, and she wrote to me that um, she thought it was a really good idea with these um, bags and pockets and stuff. And she uh, sent me a link to uh, Crafty Irina where she decorate with uh, napkins so I could follow her tutorial on how she did this and uh, yeah um, I finally used some of uh, the beautiful napkins I received from from people um, what did I want to say I wanted to say the The tutorial uh, Irina has, uh, there's one big trick that, that I really, really love and want to give uh, to people is that when you glue it uh, on, um, we have a tendency to like uh, push it and stuff, but she actually used a, a baby wipe uh, and, and dip it, uh, drip it, drop it. I have no idea what to call it. But she takes the napkin and she does this movement. And it makes the napkin more smooth and it um, doesn't break the napkin and it doesn't crumble. And it is a great idea and uh, it works. It's a great trick. Yeah. And I just wanted to show you I've made, I found a, a piece uh, of old uh, paper and I did a card for this one. I want to decorate it a little bit more, yeah. Um, and then what, what I wanted to say more, uh, nothing about these ones. I can show you the, neck, uh, the, the pieces here. I'm just a little bit in a hurry. This one is a bag, this one is one of the pockets. Then I have this one as a bag, bag, packet, envelope, packet, I think, yeah, uh, no, a bag, bag, Christmas, because it's a Christmas song, I thought Santa was a great idea, the same here, so it's two bags. This one is also a bag and a envelope. Yes. Um, I will probably do it the other way around. So I will take and fold the paper first, then do the napkin, and then sew it together afterwards. Uh, because I w it could have been nice to sew the. Uh, some laces and stuff on uh, before I made it into a envelope but it is like this and that's okay I will do it in another way next time then I had some leftover of the napkins that I haven't used corners of the napkins and instead of throwing them away I took an old sheet of paper I decoupaged it on not that I'm going to use them together, but then I can cut strips of it or I can make a tag uh, and use it for something else. Uh, 
don't waste it. Just uh, decoupage it on a piece of paper and maybe you make a whole collage that you can use on something else. So yeah, just a tip. But this video was actually to show you that I can finish a product and a project and uh, it gets very shabby chic. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm so much in a hurry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, and uh, thank you for all the beautiful comments last night. Um, I haven't uh, uh, answered all of them because uh, I haven't had time. It takes a little bit of time for me to still uh, answer because I there's so many things I want to say when I uh, return a, a comment. Uh, so. And it's not everything I can say in English. Uh, I can type in English, but I can say it. Yes. Um, so it will take a little bit of time. I'm so sorry. I try to uh, comment on all, all of your comments. Um, and don't forget them. So, uh, yes. But some of them is, is like so far down in, in my emails because there is a ton of emails when you seek a job so yeah um, okay enough about that uh, thank you so much for watching uh, have a great day I think it will be a week before I go on again but uh, thank you so much for watching bye